Lionel Messi or Cristiano Ronaldo kind of way. In fact, pretty much the other end of the talent scale, but remarkable all the same. The story of a man who, depending on your point of view, is either a hustler, a hoaxer, a fraud or a dreamer. When I looked at him, I thought, this guy's not a footballer. Who played in a time when football was less slick than it is today. Before cash-rich state investors, record-breaking TV deals and VAR. A time before the Premier League became the slick, cash-frenzied behemoth it is today. It was utter chaos, really. No one knew what was happening. Who somehow made it to the top. Quite literally, probably a once-in-a-lifetime set of circumstances that resulted in him playing in a top-flight game. If only for a very, very short time. You may know him as Ali Dyer. Well, it's actually pronounced Ali Jar. Either way, it's a name synonymous with football failure. What some people might perceive to be the luckiest and least talented player to ever play in the Premier League. That Ali Dyer's on the bench. I went, no. He said, no, no, seriously. I said, what, for real? Seeing him sat in the change room, I was thinking, blimey. That was some competition he won. He gets to listen to the team talk and everything. And is still the butt of memes and jokes on social media. You might as well have signed Ali Dyer. Ali's often said to have cheated his way into a Premier League match on the strength of a lie. We used to get our information from one place in those days. That was a local newspaper. The back page would say, Saints give trial to George Weir's cousin. He introduced himself and pretty much told me the story of... George Way is my cousin. He's arranged for this trial here at the football club. He's called the club and we'll see how it goes. And that was the start of it. And it was all a bit, oh, right. George had recommended him, apparently. So we were like, OK, must be pretty decent. But all was not as it seems. I can remember three of us doing some training and he didn't last the training session that we did. And he sort of not broke down, but he had to stop because he could physically and mentally not do it. Ali Jar is a man who seemingly came from nowhere to play at the highest level. And there it was, to my surprise. <laughs> the man replacing me was the one and only Ali Dia, and I was like, wow. Before disappearing just as quickly. All of a sudden, then he drops off the edge of the cliff. Until now. My phone rings, and I pick it up, and he goes, hello, this is the man who you've been looking for. I'm not afraid to tell that. I'm a good player. I can prove that. I, I'm going to prove that. I'm Josh Willicum. I'm Dara O'Brien. And together we're telling a story that takes us to Dakar, Zimbabwe, Cameroon and Helsinki. From the south coast of England to a tiny hamlet outside of Newcastle. To understand how one thoroughly mysterious man was able to change football forever. In a mere 53 minutes. If you were to said to somebody, yeah, I'm going to trick my way into a Premier League football team, you'd go... You're mental, mate. You've got no chance. What's the matter with you? And yet, here he is, and he did it. From Global and Listen, this is 53 Minutes. You can listen to the whole series right now for free on Global Player. Download it from the App Store or search for 53 Minutes at globalplayer.com. I think he's a, a scallywag. I like scallywags. Global Player.